Hello students, see here we will going to see the solution of one question which deals with the physics. I have taken this question from the class 12 CBC physics question paper of this year means that is a 2024. Uh, so in that question paper this was the one question which was asked on the step of transformer. So we are going to see the step by step solution of this question. Uh, this is the second part of the video. First part of the video is already covered up in which I have taken the question of the wave optics. So you may going to refer that particular question. I will going to give the link of that question in the description okay and now uh, here we will going to see the step by step solution of this question uh, basically uh, lots of the people will going to find out that uh, the questions of the transformer are easier one but we will going to see how we can solve this question and all okay so it will be helpful for those people um, who don't know how to solve the numerical so basically this question is taken from the question paper having the question code that is 115512 means it is a set to and uh, the question number uh, of this question is 33b uh, so i will write here 33b uh, so it is our question means uh, one question was already there uh, which was depend um, which was on the another portion now in this question also there were the three sub questions so first two sub questions were the theoretical one and this one is the numerical best okay in the first sub question there was uh, regarding the diagram of the step up transformer and and in the second question it was written right uh, like uh, why the number of turns or we can say uh, why the secondary voltage is more than the primary and uh, that's all okay now we will going to see the numerical question um, means that is the third sub question which was given for the or question so I will provide you here, here the step by step solution so you will going to get how we can solve this question and get the maximum mark okay fine so we will going to read this question here and we will get the idea how we can solve this question properly so we have given one question that is a strip of transformer has 203,000 turns in its primary and secondary coil so first we have to read this question carefully and then we have to mention the given in that particular question fine so I will read here the question a step up transformer has the 200 and the 3000 turns in its primary and the secondary coil so what is given uh, there there are the 200 number of turns in the primary coil and the 3000 turns in the secondary coil okay so according to that we will going to mention it in to the given then again what is given the input voltage given to the primary coil is 90 volt what is that 90 volt so we know that in the step up transformer the output voltage or um, number of turns in, in the output side are more than the input side or we can say primary side so what we have to calculate here the output voltage across the secondary coil means we have to calculate here the vs then uh, secondly we have to calculate the current in the primary coil if the current in the secondary coil is given that is 2 ampere so we have to find out ip that is the current in the primary coil or we can see in the input side now basically whenever we solve the numerical question in the physics so we have to understand the language of that particular question and then we have to take out what is given in that question so i will write here what are the things given to me number of turns in the primary side yes and those are 200 then number of turns on the secondary side those are 3000 turns and then again what is given to me i have given the voltage at the primary side that is a 90 volt now what i have to calculate first i have to calculate the output voltage so i will say it is a vs or vo means v naught um, that is the output voltage then secondly i will write here the is yes it is given that is a 2 ampere and i have to find out the ip that is unknown here so for solving this question we are going to use the basics of the step up transformer and how we can solve this how we can find out the values of these two quantities by using the particular formula so in the step up transformer we basically know what we know we know the transformer ratio or the turn ratio that is also called as a transformer formula or so or the relation also so we're going to use that particular relation here and find out the answer so i will write here we know that that is what is the transformer ratio that is ip upon is so i will write here transformer ratio yes. so it will be np upon ns equal to vp upon vs or again we can alternatively write it as a ip is upon ip so this is the transformer ratio or the turn ratio for a, any type of a transformer so we will go further and we will put the values so we will going to get the answer so first is i have to calculate the vs so for that i will write here 
the relation that is NP upon NS equal to VP upon VS. Why? Because I know the three quantities out of the four quantities which were given in that particular relation. So it will become NP upon NS equal to VP upon VS. So what is the value of NP? 200 NS is 3000. VP is equal to 90 volt. Yes, that is already given in the given VS. So what is the value of VS? It will be 90 multiplied by 3000 divided by 200 fine so 0 0 will get cancelled here now uh, we will see further so again i will going to solve it so it will become 2700 divided by 2 yes so we will going to solve it so we will going to get the answer that is 1350 so it will be the answer that is 1350 volt will be the secondary voltage or the voltage at the secondary fine so i will write here vs equal to 1350 volt so that is my first answer so i will going to get the full marks for that answer okay so i have written it very properly here now we have to find out the second that is uh, ip okay so i will write here np upon ns equal to is upon ip what is that that is again the turn ratio that we have already seen in the upper section uh, so again here i know the three three quantities that is i know the np i know the ns i know the is also so i can find out the ip with the help of the all three quantities so i will going to write ip equal to is multiplied by ns upon np fine now we'll put the value of the is that is a two ampere that is already given in the given section number of turns at the secondary 3000 and the number of turns on the primary are 200 that we have already seen so 0 0 will going to get cancelled here then 2 2 will again having the answer that is 1 so what is remaining here 30 so what are the number of turns uh, sorry what is the current on the primary side that is 30 ampere so i will write here ip equal to 30 ampere that will be my the final answer for this second sub question in this way i can solve this question very properly so uh, we have seen here the numerical of the step up transformer in that we have solved the values for the vs and ip so you can see the whole solution is given here on the screen so it will be very helpful for you to um, understand that particular solution and the all steps which are involved in this calculation fine so i hope that uh, you got this solution and it will going to help you a lot uh, so if you like this video or if you like this solution then you must subscribe this channel and share this videos to your friends also so it will be helpful for them also uh, i know that most of the students have done it very correctly uh, whoever have not done this question very correctly in the board exam they can refer this solution or they can get the idea how we can solve these questions uh, properly uh, by using the basic formulas of the strip of transformer the, um, by using the uh, turn ratio or the transformer ratio in the subsequent videos also i will going to uh, share some more solution on the different different questions so stay tuned and stay connected